Ever wonder why some people with L4, L5 disc herniation or L5, S1 disc herniation can live pain-free without surgery? Yes, that's true. If you have been dealing with back pain or leg pain from a lumbar disc herniation and you are stuck in a loop that just won't end, then keep watching this video. Check this out. Does this sound familiar to you? First, you try painkillers that seem to help for a while, but the pain always comes back. Then you deal with the unwanted side effects these pills can have on you. When you try injections for the pain, they might work at first, but the medicine soon wears off and you discover that they don't help at all. Does it feel like the only thing doctors suggest is surgery? Is that scary to you? What if you had surgery before and it just made things worse? Now, what are your options? It's like you're searching for something to finally stop the pain, but everything just brings more frustration and dead ends. Listen, I understand your frustration, I have heard these stories from hundreds of disc herniation patients in my clinic over the last 24 years. In this video, I'll share with you proven and effective non-surgical treatments to help alleviate your pain, improve your mobility, and help you get back to your normal life again. Keep watching. Not only will I describe these non-surgical disc herniation treatment options in great detail, but I will also explain the risks, the downsides of spinal surgery, showing you why it's really the last option you should consider. In this video, you'll learn things that your family doctor, neurologist, or neurosurgeon might not have told you. Make sure you watch till the end because missing even a bit of this video might be the reason you're missing out on a crucial information for managing your disc herniation condition effectively. And as a special gift for watching this video to the end, I will give you free access to my book, Back to Life. Imagine getting your life back while getting your health back. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Raminder Burke, a chiropractor in Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada. With over 24 years of clinical experience, we have helped thousands of patients recover from spinal conditions like disc bulge, disc herniations, disc degeneration, lumbar stenosis, sciatica, and radiculopathy using our unique and proven back to life method. Now be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want more tips on how to get relief at home from sciatica, disc related pain, and what therapies actually work for these conditions. Now, before we dive into the effective non-surgical treatments for L4, L5 and L5, S1 disc herniation, let's first look at some surprising facts about spinal surgery that research has uncovered. Medical doctors are noticing that failed back surgeries are occurring at high rates. Many people who undergo one back surgery often find themselves needing up to three more, even if the initial surgery was performed correctly. That fact alone is frightening. Here's another alarming fact. Pain relief after spinal surgery isn't guaranteed. Studies and patient experiences show that outcomes can vary with 70% of people still experiencing pain after the surgery. Surprisingly, only 26% of those who have back surgery get back to work, compared to 67% who avoid surgery are still able to return to work. And do people stop taking pain medications after surgery? You might have guessed it, no. In fact, there's a 41% increase in the use of painkillers post-surgery. These facts clearly show why surgery should be generally considered a last resort, chosen only after all of conservative treatment methods have been thoroughly explored and deemed ineffective. And before I dive into this effective non-surgical treatment for lumbar disc herniations, I want to give you a message of hope don't give up. I have seen and treated patients with severe and debilitating back and leg pain due to either an L4, L5 disc herniation or an L5, S1 disc herniation. We have helped hundreds of patients avoid surgery and return to their normal life again with our non-surgical methods. When I say there is hope, I mean it. The good news is that even though some studies point out the downsides of spinal surgery, there are many clinical studies proving that non-surgical treatments can be very successful. And that's what I'm going to dive into now. Our three-prong back-to-life method of conservative non-surgical treatment options that have been shown to be effective in treating lumbar disc herniations are one, specific postural correction through chiropractic care for realignment at the true cause of the problem. Secondly, the non-surgical spinal decompression therapy. And third, class four low intensity laser therapy. 
when these three are used together in a multimodal treatment program, that has been highly effective for hundreds of patients just like yourself. So the most important component of this three-pronged approach is the chiropractic care. So as I explained in other videos, the most important reason that these discs have degenerated, bulged, herniations, is because of alignment, right? So if we're looking at the cause being the alignment problem, subluxation, we wanna get in and make those corrections before we do any other therapies, or they're not gonna last, they're not gonna be effective, they're not gonna work properly and be long-term corrections. So as we correct subluxations, it's done on a chiropractic table, there's a variety of techniques, whether it's hands-on realignments of the pelvis and the spine determined by what area is degenerating uh, on x-rays or using handheld tools that get into areas of the spine gently to restore motion, right? We're going to create motion and then we can do the other parts of treatment that create the effect that's long-term and corrects the disc problem from the cause. So that's the chiropractic care. Now the second component of the back to life method is the spinal decompression on this computerized table. Now remember we have a compressed, bulging, herniated disc and what this table is specifically going to do in, in angles and positions is going to create that pumping effect back into the disc. So as this has been compressed, the table gently, uh, over time we build up the poundage, it's going to pull the spine. And as we do this over 20 minutes, whether it's in the neck or the low back, that's gonna create cartilage pumping again. So this disc is basically dehydrated and compressed. There's no fluid in here, and this table is gonna create that gradual pull, relaxations that bypass the muscles. So true decompression tables are specifically designed to reach the cartilage and the disc. We're not just pulling and holding, we're not having you hang upside down, we're actually creating a relaxation and getting past the muscles to get to the disc. And that creates that cartilage, helping it get back to life again by pumping, getting fluid back into it so it can stay plump again, no. so the discs get rehydrated. So as the patient is lying on the table, it's very relaxed. We can put her in different positions depending on where and what level the disc has bulged or herniated. And that's gonna target the specific disc, creating fluid exchange back into this disc, as I was saying, restoring the disc back to height. And the success rates are very high when it's done properly in conjunction with our other therapies in the office. So not only are hundreds of patients finding relief, but the studies are proving time and time again that spinal decompression is actually effective in controlled studies conducted by the medical doctors themselves. A great study done at the Mayo Clinic showed that spinal decompression is very safe and effective in patients reported an average pain reduction from seven out of 10 to less than one out of 10. And this was with an 89% success rate for both neck and lumbar disc pain. Other studies have shown over 90% reductions in disc herniations and 90% success rates. This is what we see in our office. The authors of the study agree that spinal decompression is to be a primary treatment for low back pain due to disc herniations, disc degenerations, facet syndrome, and many other post-surgical patients who have had failed back syndrome should always consider spinal decompression before further surgeries are attempted. And then the third step in our process is the class four low intensity laser therapy. So laser therapy has been around for decades. This is the most advanced on the market. This laser is gonna be for inflammation, reducing the scar tissue that's built up around the tight muscles and even healing the cartilage at the disc level. So when we use this laser, it's gonna feel like a warm light that's penetrating. It's low intensity, so that means not causing any damage, of course, it's very safe and effective to heal the muscles, the tissue, the ligaments, everything that's been adapting to the poor posture over time and has led to the disc degenerations and herniations. So laser feels great and it helps really advance the process of treatment as we go through care. I hope this video has been helpful. You've learned that there are proven effective ways to treat L4, L5 disc herniation and L5, S1 disc herniation without surgery. You now have information on safer, effective alternatives that can help manage your disc condition and potentially improve your quality of life, leading to relief and recovery without the risks of surgery. Now it's your turn. Tell me your story. What did your MRI report tell you? And what type of treatment have you done? What has worked for you and what has not worked for you? 
If you did surgery, tell me about it. Leave a comment below the video. As promised, I will give you free access to my ebook, Back to Life. You'll find a link for the book in the description area. If you found value in the video, be sure to like and share it now. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel now if you want more tips on how to relieve sciatica and disc-related pain and what treatments actually work for L4, L5 disc bulge. Now the next video you should watch is this one where I demonstrate five unique and easy exercises for relieving from pain from L4, L5 disc bulge, L4, L5 herniations. So go ahead now and watch this video here to follow these great exercises.